another day, another fan show case. No? All right. What is this big? <laughs> We're not even gonna bother with intros anymore. Smacking pie here. Welcome back to another D D vid. All right. So I was going through my Twitter again. Follow me on Twitter. There's Smacking Pie. 800 followers. We're 200 away from 1K. Let's do this. Let's hit 1K there. All right. It doesn't look good on my resume when I have 37K here and not even 1K on Twitter. So y'all better go there and follow me on Twitter. There's Smacking Pie and follow me on Instagram. There is Smacking Pie as well. Let's hit 300 there and 1K here. Anyways, today I want to showcase two things that I missed. I had them in my resume radar for a long time but i didn't show it so we're gonna start with actually this one i would say up and coming creator in dd community and they're called paradox 1000 now it's not that big of a deal it's just still work in progress i hope it's work in progress because it looks clean on twitter like more than two weeks ago at this point they shared this on twitter it said fan made mascot mayhem and you can see the outside area then you can see the production factory in zone 3 and zone 2 later and the research and development you can see lasers down there as well so when i first time i saw this i was like hold up i'm gonna keep my tabs on this then i completely forgot that this thing even existed and then in the next screenshot you can see even more clean and clearer version of research plus development it looks so super clean it's like 4k imagine dark description of 4k i'm here for it this screenshot reminds me of that and then in the last screenshot you can see production zone with a camera so in the previous screenshot we saw lasers in this screenshot we're seeing camera and zone 3 don't tell me this doesn't look clean it looks like straight from a triple-a game paradox if you're watching this first of all good job and second of all you have talent make sure you use it in a smart way but that's not all the very next day they said well now this is on video and let's play the video let's see what we have Yep, you can see the light flickering with camera even moving left and right. The camera was moving with thingy thingy and the lasers were doing their good stuff. I'm really hoping that they double down on this, make this a playable level. I really want to see if my computer can handle this much of graphics. I really want to test my computer. So Paradox, complete this in a way. Even if it's just three layers and you move from one part to another, I would be more than glad and honored to try it. They have some clean stuff as well, like they're currently working on tournament therapy with hospital and everything. Good job but let's go back to our fans reaper y'all remember the first time ever i showed a possible gameplay the one that you all loved when it comes to possible gameplay it was this but what i didn't show you last time is that there was another version of it that was roaming around that i didn't share it with you guys because the one i shared had lucky chasing you and then jump scare but there was another one where they were just roaming around left and right and this ladies and gentlemen is what it is let's take a look Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the only issue I would take with this is that it's just too tight for the level. Like, Doug Hauser feels like he's walking on top <laughs> of the hallway. It looks like we're playing as someone so huge in this very small and tight area that it doesn't even feel realistic. This is the only issue I would take this as if you can increase the size of the level or decrease the size of the player. But of course, if you're gonna decrease the size of player, you're gonna have to decrease the size of soul shards as well. So the best way would be to increase the size of the level as well either way if you play this with the other one it looks perfect there are some other screenshots that i never shared from them you know what i wouldn't just go on twitter twitter they have some cool stuff there they have talent why not at the point i am here right now i'm really expecting some bendy forward slash dd content more there was a spike just a little bit now no dd bendy fan games for a while last time i played lost in darkness i think chapter one or two or something and after that i never heard from them so if there's a dd bendy game that i ever played do let me know and yes i will get to reacting squimpus me grimpus i will get to reacting to team master stuff i will get to play the level that kevin
wife sent me. I'm sorry it's getting a bit late, but you know what? I'll get to it, alright? This Batman stuff is taking me right now. It's taking a toll on me and my old focus and energy went there. So apologies for that, but I, I couldn't just leave you hang and dry. There was some other stuff going around, some business related stuff that kind of took a toll on me. Nothing is going good behind the scenes. So some support in the comments would it really help. And tomorrow we're gonna get back to it. Trust me, there is a DD news from official Ghost Entertainment coming soon as well. So I got you covered for at least a week, for at least this month, the entire month I got you covered. And next month, we will officially start Monsters Immortals countdown series because in October, the game will release. So in September, I promised you we're gonna start the countdown series. We will start the countdown series. I believe 30, 40, 46 days. When September starts, it will be 46 days. We will start that. Either way, Monsters Immortals, Chapter 4, Fanmade Stuff, Scrimpus McGrimpus, Momo Deception. What?